As NEA intensifies its effort to curb mosquito breeding over the years, mosquitoes have also been adapting and have begun breeding in more obscure and hard to find places. To seek them out, a new tool is needed and male Wolbachia carrying Aedes mosquitoes could be just what we are looking for. After years of studies and risk assessment on various novel control tools at the Environmental Health Institute, NEA has identified and shown the potential of using only male Wolbachia carrying Aedes aegypti mosquitoes to suppress the Aedes aegypti population in Singapore. Aedes aegypti is the main vector of dengue. Male mosquitoes do not bite or transmit disease to humans. Wolbachia is a naturally occurring bacterium found in more than 60% of insect species around us, including butterflies, dragonflies, and various mosquito species. However, it is not found in Aedes aegypti. Wolbachia does not harm humans or other animals, and it is already present in Aedes albopictus and Culex mosquitoes that bite humans and animals. A Wolbachia-carrying mosquito is not a genetically modified organism. When a male Wolbachia Aedes aegypti mates with a female urban Aedes aegypti that does not carry Wolbachia, their eggs do not hatch and there will be no offspring. This form of sterility is due to a phenomenon known as cytoplasmic incompatibility. The release of male Wolbachia Aedes aegypti in the field to compete with urban males for urban females can theoretically lead to a reduction in the Aedes aegypti population. As a next step, NEA is planning to conduct a small-scale field study involving the release of only male Wolbachia Aedes aegypti mosquitoes. To begin at the end of the year, the study will help us understand the behaviour of male Wolbachia Aedes in our urban built-up environment. For example, how far and high they fly, how long they live, and how well they compete with urban Aedes aegypti in the environment. The data collected will support the design of a subsequent suppression trial. The Wolbachia Aedes technology is a potential complementary tool in Singapore's dengue control program and it is critical for all stakeholders to continue to do their part to prevent dengue. Let's remain vigilant and fight dengue together as a community to keep our loved ones safe.